Signal Gateway is a server-side tracking solution that enhances ad tracking accuracy by overcoming challenges like cookies and ad blockers. Let's walk through the Signal Gateway setup together. It's easier than you might think. Step 1. Create your Birch account. If you already have a Birch account, you access Gateway creation directly inside the app. But if you're new to the service, you will need to start by creating a Birch account. So head over to bird.ch and sign up. Once you confirmed your email and set up your company profile, you're ready to create your first gateway. Step 2. Create your first gateway. Now let's create your gateway. Give it a name and choose the location for data hosting based on where most of your customers are based. Once done, you will receive an email with a link to finalize the setup. Step 3. Configure the Signals Gateway Pipeline. Check your inbox for that email and click on the provided link. This will take you to the Signals Gateway environment. Enter your Birch account email and set a password. Step 4. Set up data pipeline. Here you can create data pipelines. In other words, connect your data sources with the data destinations. There are several sources and destinations to choose from. But I will focus on the most common use case, sending events from your website back to metadata set or pixel so that meta algorithm improves targeting of your ads and decreases your CPA. Time to set up your data pipeline. You will see two types of pipelines, Signals Gateway Pipeline and Conversion API Gateway Pipeline. We recommend using both pipelines simultaneously to achieve maximum accuracy of tracking and prevent any data loss. Step 5. Set up Signals Gateway Pipeline. Let's start with Signals Gateway Pipeline that uses Meta's brand new Signal Pixel. Give it a name and choose Signals Gateway Pixel as your data source and Meta as your data destination. As I mentioned earlier, other data sources and destinations are also available. So if you choose them, your next steps might differ from what I show. Step 6. Configure the Signals Gateway Pixel. Now it's time to create a brand new Signal Pixel. Enter a name for your new pixel and indicate whether your website already has a MetaPixel installed. By doing this, you will ensure that your current MetaPixel settings will apply to the new Signal Gateway Pixel. Step 7. Install the Signals Gateway Pixel. Now you will need to add the Signals Gateway Pixel to your website. At this stage, you can also connect pixel data using partners like Shopify and follow special instructions for this case. For a standard setup, you will have two options. If you have a team member who manages things like pixels, send the instructions to your web developer or install the pixel yourself. Copy the base code and paste it into your website's code. If you're using Google Tag Manager, add in your custom HTML tag, paste the pixel code, set your triggers, and publish. If you use a different provider, these steps might slightly differ. Step 8. Connect to Meta with Conversions API. Let's connect your data pipeline to Meta using the Conversions API so that it sends events from your website back to Meta for continuous targeting and CPA improvement. You can do this by logging in with your Facebook credentials or by entering information from your Events Manager dataset. In other words, your Business ID, Metapixel ID, and Access Token. Step 9. Set up Conversions API Gateway Pipeline. Using Signal Gateway along with Conversions API Gateway and Metapixel is the combination that we recommend for minimal data loss. So if you don't have Conversions API Gateway yet, create a new Conversions API Gateway Pipeline inside Signals Gateway. It is very simple. You just need to connect your MetaPixel using Facebook login or by entering your business ID, pixel ID, and access token manually. Step 10. Connect a domain for data routing. As a final step, we also recommend connecting a custom domain for optimizing data routing within your Signals Gateway. Go to Account Settings, Data Routing, Optimize. If you have a team member helping with your website maintenance, ask them to help with this step. If you manage your website on your own, note down the subdomain and domain names and configure DNS settings for the custom domain. And that's it. You've successfully set up the Signal Gateway via Birch. Soon you will start seeing the events both on Signal Gateway Interface and Birch Hub. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to reach out to Birch support team via the email or in-app chat.